guys. Hi. Hi, Abby. <laughs> um, my name is Liz. I hope some of you are going to join in today. We are doing a great oil today. Um, my name is Elizabeth and I'm from Cup Runneth Over and I have teamed up with Rachel Gulla from Healthy and Whole and we are doing a 14 day essential oil challenge where we are going through each day. Hello everyone who's joining in. Throw out where you're from if you want. Um, each day we are doing a part of the premium high from the premium starter kit from Young Living. Um, and so we've made this challenge to kind of get our team members to experience each oil. Oh, all the way from Brazil. Well, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> um, to experience each oil and its benefits for themselves and to get using it. Because sometimes people get their kit and they're new to essential oils and they kind of are feeling a little overwhelmed. So this is a step-by-step 14-day um kind of oil adventure that we're going on. Now if you don't have your premium starter kit, that's okay. You can just join in and learn about um, these oils and some tips and tricks for how to use them. So today we are doing frankincense oil. Oh my gosh, this is like the best oil ever. <laughs> um, frankincense is a really interesting um, oil and the way that they get it is they actually scar the tree, the frankincense tree, frankincense tree, which um, they've been growing for thousands of years, and they scar the frankincense tree, and the tree's immune system kind of goes into overdrive trying to protect itself, and it throws out um, this, you know, stuff, resin, it's resin, but to protect the wound of the tree. Um, and then they scrape that off and then they distill it and that's where frankincense oil comes from. So it's kind of an interesting way that they get the oil and you can actually buy the resin from Young Living too. And um, that's an interesting, very cool way to, to enjoy it too. But this is the oil and I'm going to share a little bit about how you can, you know, first use the oil. So the thing that I would suggest to try first is just to take a drop. Hold on, let me open this up. I love the smell of frankincense. So take a drop, put it on, and just rub it on your temples and across your forehead. And this would be the first way I would suggest using frankincense. And it's a really great thing to just note. Um, really sit and kind of think about how you feel before and then um, note how you feel after. I know that a lot of people use frankincense in their prayer or meditation and um, that's a great way to use it and frankincense really supports healthy uh, it supports a healthy brain healthy brain function <clears throat> excuse me so it's really a great way to try it um, first and just note how you feel now another way you could use it around the house is to um, drop along your spine and then massage into your spine and um, or the bottoms of your feet and it's a really great way to experience frankincense and just see what it can do for your body. And another one thing that frankincense is really great for is skin care. So anything to do with skin, whether it would be like anti-aging or just something that's going on with your skin, um, frankincense is one to try. Uh oh, here comes my dog. <laughs> uh, and I've got a recommendation for a do-it-yourself recipe. So you can create your own beauty serum and I would recommend just maybe getting a tiny little sample um, size bottle like this to make this beauty serum and you would add two drops of frankincense, eight drops of a carrier oil and two drops of lavender and then when you wanted to use that say on your you know on under your eyes or on a certain spot on your face you can use that and that would be your beauty serum so that's one thing to try and <clears throat> Just something to note, you know, frankincense is an oil that has been used for thousands of years. And in biblical times, this oil was considered more valuable than gold. And, you know, the wise men uh, who gave it to baby Jesus as a gift, who gave frankincense to baby Jesus as a gift, they were really on to something. And so I definitely suggest that you bust out your um, reference guide 
and you look up frankincense and you study it out and you just empower yourself to know all the amazing things that frankincense can do. Um, you could also go on PubMed and do some research um, some science to find out you know some scientific studies about frankincense oil because it really has some some amazing things um, yeah so pretty much that's it for frankincense there's so much more that I would suggest or or, or uh, that I do with it myself but this is just a 14 day challenge where we're just getting people started on how to use it and getting people going who have ordered their premium starter kit or ha who have their kit and they're just uh, wanting to know you know each day how to use something so today is day three and we did frankincense tomorrow we will be doing peppermint which is another great one the premium starter kit comes with just this amazing group of oils um, and each one is just so amazing and, and important so I hope that you enjoyed learning a little bit about frankincense and I hope that you will join in with me tomorrow um, and continue on with our 14-day challenge have a great weekend you guys bye